Example three says complete the square for both the X and Y terms in the following situation or in the following equation. Situation, equation, same thing. So anyways, let's take a look at this. You've probably all completed the square again before in algebra two. However, this is, you have both X and Y. You may or may not have done that, but it works the exact same way. So I'm gonna take this and say X squared plus six X plus what number to complete the square. Now over here, I have a two in front of my Y and I gotta get my coefficient of Y squared to be one. So I'm going to factor out a two. And when I factor that out, I'm going to have y squared plus eight y. And then I'll go ahead and put in what I need to put in there to complete the square. So here's the thing we have to re remember when we do this is this two setting out here will double whatever number that we put in there because we're adding twice that amount to each side. So then let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. I'm going to take my middle number here, six. So I take that, divide it by two, that gives me three, and then I square it and that gives me nine. So I know what I'm adding to both sides here, nine plus nine. And then on the other one, I have an eight. So I'm going to say four divided by two is equal to two. I square that and I get, I did that wrong, it's not four, it's eight. I'm getting ahead of myself. Eight divided by two is four, I square that, so I get 16, so I'm going to add a 16 into here. However, I have this two setting out here, so I have to distribute it through. So two times 16 is 32, so I'm really adding 32 to this side, so I have to put a plus 32 over to this side. So now I can rewrite this as the completed square, x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's going to be x plus 3 squared plus 2 times y plus 4 squared is equal to 41. And there I have completed my square.